Okay, we're back here and I cleared things off and uh, put out some uh, New Zealand sphagnum moss here. Uh, we're also going to be using some lava rock. This is black lava rock. There's red, you know, whatever. Uh, if it's not dyed, it's best, but uh, I use what I can. Um, also, I have some wire here. Uh, something that I can tell you in advance is that uh, this particular hybrid here, it's been grown uh, very dark because I, I can tell that especially these older leaves are, are very, very dark. Uh, possibly not even bright enough to bloom it. Uh, also, it's very floppy, so this is going to be a challenge. I didn't pick the easiest thing. So, uh, before I start, now, like I said, I'm going to be using lava rock. You can use uh, styrofoam peanuts. Another good thing to use is uh, uh, wine corks. Uh, either the, the natural or the artificial ones seem to work okay. Uh, but let's start here by taking this out of the pot. And uh, it looks like we do have lots of good roots here. Um, and this is mostly a peat and pearlite mix. There's uh, some other things. Uh, I see here remnants of, of a plug. Okay, so I'm going to just gently go around here. And if I don't get all this, as long as it, it seems to be pretty healthy, uh, I'm not that worried about it. Uh, you can actually add either a, a really good quality bark, such as Orchiata, or I use Kiwi bark, uh, or... Uh, you can use some perlite uh, in with your sphagnum moss if you uh, think that you need more drainage with it. So uh, we've got most of this uh, potting media taken away. And uh, we're going to uh, get rid of this. And I'm going to put this in a five inch pot. This will not stay in this pot real long. I'd say a couple of years and it'll have to go into something else. Um, probably a basket. Um, Bulbophyllums really do best if you're going to be keeping them, uh, you know, for yourself for a long time to invest in, in a nice wood basket uh, or something like that. Uh, they, they do very well in that. And uh, as I showed you, I, I use uh, lava rock uh, in the bottom of the basket, and I, I actually kind of mound it in the middle. And then I, I put my plant in and work around with the, the sphagnum moss. Here, I'm going to start, this is, this is a f fairly small plant or manageable sized plant. I'm going to spread this apart here, and we're going to start working upside down, and then uh, go around. So I start by putting a bit of sphagnum moss there right in the middle of, of the root ball. Now I'm going to uh, select some uh, pieces of lava rock enough to cover the bottom. Uh, there we go. One more. Okay, so, uh, come on, get out of there. So, you can see there how things look. And uh, now we're ready for the plant. So, I'm going to uh, just kind of work around it here. And before I put it in, I'm going to end up with, it, with a ball of sphagnum here with the plant in it. And just, just work it around.
Now, when you're doing this, uh, if, if you see a particular direction of growth, you probably want to make it so that uh, the plan is, is uh, situated so that uh, there, there is space for it to grow. So we have this here, and, and I'm just going to sit it down in and work around it. And just try to work the sphagnum moss in. I make it fairly tight, but not as tight as I possibly can make it. And uh, you may notice that the plant might want to spring back up. Uh, and we'll, we'll deal with that as we go along here. I, I try to be careful of the leaves because they can get broken very easily. So, try to make sure that, that the roots are all situated so that they're going down into the sphagnum. Now, we kind of got this in here like this, so I'm going to move the sphagnum out of the way and tuck in all the pieces that are hanging out. Uh, you can still put more in if you see spots. Uh, here, here's a spot that might need a little bit yet. Okay, so I'll, I'll get just a, a touch here and work that in just like this. Okay, and you see this wants to come back up. Oh, uh, there goes our fan again. Okay, okay, now, uh, so we kind of have this in here, tucked in as good as it'll get by itself, but I notice a couple places want to kind of come up, and what I will do now is I'll get my pliers, and my wire, and uh, I'll cut off a piece about this long and uh, I'll just take it and bend it around like this okay and this this is kind of like my own kind of little rhizome clip for bulbos and if you can see here Right there where, where this finger is, you see that rhizome coming out. I'm going to put the clip in there and try to push it down so that it will hold this down in. And uh, you just wiggle it back and forth a little bit. And there we go. So that, that's holding that, that in nice and tight. Uh, you can also, if you need, uh, take, take a piece of wire and, um, you know, if, if you do have an upright piece of wire, bend it so that it doesn't present a hazard to your eye. And you can uh, use twist ties to, to tie it on if you have uh, leaves that, that want to stand up. This is kind of a fairly floppy type of hybrid. It's, I've had these before and it's just its nature. Uh, and that's the way some bulbophyllums are. As you see, this just kind of hangs down. It's, that's going to be the way it is unless you want to go and take it and you, here we'll go and uh, make a little uh, support here and we'll prop that up. Um, oh, here I'll just cut another piece of wire. First straighten it out a little bit. Just like this. Okay, and now cut it off, as I said, put a little loop on the top so it's not a danger, and then try to figure out how you're going to have it. Eh, that isn't going to work very well. 
see if I can get it in there. Okay. And twist tie. One thing, if, if we twist tie, use twist tie for this, uh, it will keep it from flopping around so much, which is a, a good thing. It can actually break off. So we'll use twist tie there, wrap it around a couple of times. Push it in a little bit. There, now it's holding it up much better. I like that. Okay, so th this has about three or four leads on it. And it's got, it's got new roots coming out here. It, it's a very nice plant. It's going to be, uh, as, as uh, a guy I really like, Bob Ross says, it's going to be a happy little plant. So, uh, and hopefully we'll get lots of flowers from it. And hope you learned something from here. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. Uh, you can either uh, ask questions uh, on YouTube here, or you can go uh, to www.wadesorchids.com. And uh, under, I think, contact, uh, there is a place for you to uh, send messages to me. Okay, so this is Wade from Wade's Orchids. Hope you like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.